Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? I pray in Jesus' name that you've been having a great day all day long. Well, it's Tuesday, and it's only 2.30, so... Well, I had to come on and make a video because something really good, you know? Good news about, you know, something or... So, this is what I'm talking about right here. It's going to be about uh turpentine and it's going to be about if you have bad skin so if you this is what we're going to talk about right here it's the uh healing pine salve hold on i'm not very steady um diamond g forest products it's handcrafted the ingredients is olive oil pine gum resin beeswax and turpentine and Diamond, well, www.diamondgforestproducts.com. Anyhow, okay, so I have two different instances with this that I want to tell you guys about. Now, the first one was this was with Trinity, and she was this was before she had her. Uh, problem with where she had to have surgery and everything this was a little while before that but she got ringworm on her hind on the inside of her hind legs and you know always checking her anyways so they seen it right away and then i noticed that right where it was on that leg on the leg that touches it it was like it went right to there too so it was ringworm you know and uh i got some i ordered some ringworm medicine some lotrimin but i never used it supposedly ringworms is really hard to get rid of i know that my mom said she had it like a long time ago and she tried getting rid of it herself and she ended up having to go to the white coats and they prescribed her something and then she got rid of it you know but she said it was pretty hard to get rid of so i had this uh because you know this stuff has turpentine in it and i've been telling people about turpentine now for i don't know a couple of years and uh turpentine has a lot of amazing health benefits if you don't know i mean yeah it sounds like oh you're crazy right turpentine well if you research it back you, you would uh, see that they used to use turpentine all the time in the old days to fix all kinds of problems with people. So um, so I put that stuff on Trinity's ringworm, her two spots there, and I only put it on two times, and it was gone. Totally gone. Just off of putting it on twice. So I'm like, wow, that stuff, that really does, you know, because it kills parasites and it kills fungus and it kills all kinds of, you know, but it's good for you. You know, it's made from the tree of the Lord, the evergreen trees. And uh, so I was like, wow, you know, that stuff. And, and I, I read the comments on their website underneath this stuff. And I mean, everybody, I mean, people saying they had like severe eczema and they put this stuff on and it's like the only thing that's ever helped and it like clears it right up and fixes it you know so these are on the comments and the, i mean you can do the research yourself and all that but okay so now this next time that something happened here what i want to tell you about my wife she has a friend that she worked with that you know they're still friends she's a real nice lady you know and she loves laying out in the sun just loves it but the last few years she's started getting the, uh, these sores on her that won't heal you know and so she goes to the white coats and they're like yep that's cancer you know so she's had to have like three or four of these things you know spots cut out of her one of them she had to have a skin graft because it was bad enough and so she had this spot on her foot, you know, that was in 
my wife seen it she's like well, you know oh geez that disgusting you know pretty much and uh, she says yeah she says it's cancer she said that she'd been you know that she had went to the doctor you know four different times or whatever to have she says that she's sick of them carving on her but she's not going to give up laying in the sun she likes it you know that's what she does during the summer she goes down to the beach she lays on the beach and she just looks at the water you know watches the watches the water and uh so she came over here one day this was a few months ago and she had her sandals on and stuff and showed you know her sore on her foot said you know it won't heal nothing will heal you know it just since she knows that she had to she was thinking she was worrying about going into the doctor or the white coats there because she was worrying she was going to get her toe cut off or you know and she didn't really want to deal with it going to the in there because of all the covid crap that's going on so she uh was standing i'm like well hold on a second i went and got a one of these because i had three of them i got one of these and i said well you know use this stuff i says it'll heal it <laughs> you know i didn't know but i know that they used to use it for everything back in the day so nothing else would work for her anyhow and so uh she started using it she said that she and we just found this out the other day called her or my wife got a hold of her and asked her how her foot was doing and she's like oh my gosh you know i can't believe i haven't told you guys this yet because she was going to she said that she started using that stuff and it was bad enough that her husband that she had to like hold the skin up on her her foot and her husband cut the dead skin off around that was all you know it was pretty gnarly you know and uh so she started soaking her foot and putting this stuff on her foot there two times a day and she did it for 30 days and she said that the sore fell right off and it was healed underneath it so and it totally <laughs> you know whatever it worked and it uh it there's tons of reviews on turpentine you know and you take it internally too it's some i mean that's what dr jennifer daniels you know she has the protocol for doing that or whatever you know you don't like drink gallons of it or nothing just a little bits at a time with sugar and it uh kills the parasites that are inside of you you know unless you've ever been wormed you know it'd be a good idea to get rid of the parasites so it's just a good way to do that anyhow so you know that's really all i wanted to talk about because they always tell you how terrible that stuff is you know and it's you can't get you got to go to them and you got to she the last time she they gave her the chemo cream to they told her to rub it over all of her whole you know her whole body but she just did it in sections on her arms and she said it was the most painful thing that she ever went through and she wasn't gonna do she wasn't doing that no more so she used this instead and bam right away so anyhow you know with all the stuff going on and how hard it is to go to the white coats if you want something you know all the hoops you got to jump through because of what's going on it's about time people they, they need to start look looking into the ways how they used to do stuff before all of the big pharma was around and everything you know because well you guys know why anyhow all right well you know i hope that somebody found that this was uh that this was helpful uh like if you have skin problems it's worth a try you know and there's two instances right there that i'm telling you right now it worked and it didn't just work just a little bit it worked really good so and it's it, you know doesn't it's just all natural just got the stuff from a pine tree in it and some beeswax and olive oil so it's really good on your skin 
it's almost a consistency of like Vaseline or something. So I would just thought that I wanted to share that with everybody because that's uh, pretty good info right there if anybody's having skin problems or anything like that. So I pray that you guys have a great rest of your day and night. In Jesus' name, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you, love you, bye.